Welcome to day 200 of our DSO journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian, and we have a very special confetti. guest. I don't see any confetti. Huh. Yeah. Michelle, why didn't you bring the confetti? That was your job. I did. I'm the confetti. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> see my dress? So we're here with special <laughs> guest, Michelle Lord. You know her on, on DSO as Michelle Lord. And she's also very big on Clubhouse. She's holding rooms day after day. We're going to get into that in a little bit. And she's also holding a meetup coming up in Tampa. So we're going to get to that in a little bit. We just want to touch on the news. Uh, again, this is this video is sponsored by CloudFeed. Brian, do you have anything to talk about CloudFeed today? When you're on CloudFeed, you can click a user's coin price and instantly see their creator coin charts. So that's another feature that you get from CloudFeed that you don't get on bitcloud.com. Do you use CloudFeed, Michelle? Not yet, but I'm about to. <laughs> it's pretty cool. <laughs> I, I like using it because you can give diamonds really fast, at least if you use the test flight version. So Apple, Apple won't allow, allow you to give diamonds on any of their apps. But if you download the test flight version, which is a version that CloudFeed put out where you can download through the app test flight, you can still give diamonds. So that's another little little hint for those who like giving diamonds out. I love giving diamonds out. Me too. So let's get into a little bit of the news. BitCloud Kids, our final BitCloud Kids card, number five, is releasing today at 1.10 p.m. Eastern time. It's a special card. It features diamond hands transforming into natter. And so at 1.10 p.m. Eastern time, we're going to mint both the silver one of 10 and the gold one of one card. And the silver is going to be first bid. So there's 10 of those first person to bid on each one of those, which I believe is one DSO, Brian, one DSO will win that the gold will be an auction that runs for approximately 50 minutes until 2 PM Eastern time. So it's different than most of our auctions. We're going to, we're going to have the one hour, one hour or 50 minute auction for the gold. Yeah, we're going to make it fast, like Fast Freddy. And I think that's a good segue to the next piece of news. Is Fast so, Freddy really fast or is that just his name? He's really fast. He knows is, a lot like about a track cars store or anything. I, he knows a lot about cars. So I'm guessing it has something to do oh, with okay. like maybe auto racing. But so Fast Freddy got a lot of heat yesterday. Um, maybe, maybe deservedly so, maybe not. Uh, I think it was just an a, a accident. I, I don't think he had any ill intentions, but he created a discord and said that anybody that owns one of his coin could actually access that discord. And the purpose was he wanted a small subsection of, of DSO so that he could quickly communicate with some of the developers, some of the people that were really serious about DSO. He didn't want like a thousand DSO users all coming into it and then everybody drowning each other out. And I mean, that would have been a mess. So, so he did it this way. He wanted to utilize the, the co creator coin to show a good solid use case of the creator coin because he himself, he said that in the beginning, DSO got a lot of celebrities on board, but they quickly left the platform. They were uninterested. And he thinks like a lot of that had to do with the fact that they didn't really understand how powerful the creator coin could have been. For instance, uh, Gwyneth Paltrow could have come on and said, hey, if you own one of my coin, you get to have a monthly Zoom call with me and ask me whatever you want, stuff like that. So he wanted to showcase the use case and he did it with this Discord. But a lot of people were a little bit disappointed, maybe some a lot, the fact that he kind of excluded some of the community based on coin price. He put up this like paywall. And I, I can kind of see, I can see why some people would be disappointed uh, they feel like this is a decentralized platform, so we should all have a say. I, I think this was kind of like a subsection of us all having a say, though. And I mean, the, the core team already is kind of walled off because they're communicating with one another, trying to build things up and, and release things for the media so that the media can get the exclusives. So I, I, I think that I don't think it was ill-intentioned. I think that maybe maybe it didn't go like he thought it would. And he quickly fixed that. Anybody can enter the Discord. Uh, the coin holders are the ones that can, can write, which in my opinion, and I hope I don't take too much heat for this, I think it's the right way to go about it because I think that 
you can't have a solid communication if you have a thousand people in a discord all typing at once. So, well, uh, maybe, well so fast, Fred, fast Freddy's also in other discords and he does take part in conversations in other discords and telegram groups. So it's not like he's walling himself off from allowing others to ask him questions or make posts to him. This is his discord and he's allowing everybody to read it. So yeah, maybe you can't write if you're not a coin holder, you can't post to him and ask some questions here, but you can in other public discords, you can on DSO as well. So, you know, there's going to be people that have issues pretty much with anything that the core team does. There's going to be someone that has an issue. And I, I mean, you know, people have reasons for having their issue. We had to view things from their point of view as well. But at the same time, it's really hard to make everybody happy and get everything that you want to get done at the same time. And what, do you, what are your thoughts, Michelle? Any, any thoughts at all? Uh, yeah, this is the first I'm hearing about the Fast Freddy Discord. Just um, not really part of the, I try and stay away from anything that people are upset about. <laughs> That's a really <laughs> good philosophy, I think. <laughs> I, I just don't, I just don't know about it. I think I, I think he's, I think I know he's a core developer and he does something around marketing. And uh, I think, I think it's great to have, you know, communications with someone who's doing marketing for the platform. So if there's a way to be part of that. That's cool. He, he, he's a marketing guy. He created that, uh, the la latest marketing video for the Octane, fund. the Octane fund video. And, but he's, he's also kind of taking on a role of community manager. Uh, it's not actually his title, but he has kind of taken that upon himself. And I think he deserves a lot of props for that as well. But I, I think we can move on to our final news point before we get into the exciting stuff with Michelle. Krasenstein Diamonds, Brian. Yes. Yeah, so, so we, as many of you know, if you followed us back a few months ago, we had the uh, Clout for Good uh, initiative, the Clout for Good account on DSO. And the whole point of Clout for Good was to basically take the founder award and, re, and use that founder award to buy the coin of accounts and people doing really good things on the platform. So there was an account altruism. There's one plant a tree. There's one, uh, one that was, uh, I think, doing humanitarian work in Jordan. So, so we would buy their coin to amplify them, but we found that like virtually everyone stopped posting and they're not posting anymore. And we had a couple thousand dollars in that account. And we like we did, we feel like, okay, well, we made this promise that we're going to do good things on the platform with it. So we got to use that for something. So we repurposed the account as Krasenstein Diamonds. And the goal now is to just basically give away all the founder award that we get as diamonds to people who are doing really positive things on the platform, whether it's positive for DSO itself or positive for society in itself. So we're going to use it to give diamonds away over the next several months. Uh, if we get more via founder reward, which we got yesterday, we got a bunch, um, we'll keep doing it. And, and hopefully it just keeps feeding itself. Anybody can donate diamonds by just giving that account diamonds and we'll re-give them away. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's just a way to repurpose a project that didn't really work out the way we hoped it would. And I think something like Cloud for Good could work out later on, but in the early stages, it's just kind of like, there's not enough, enough of these initiatives yet. Yeah. So let's get into Michelle. You run a lot of clubhouse rooms. You introduce NFTs, different artists, NFTs to the community. And you also have a meetup going. Let, let's talk about clubhouse. What have you been doing on clubhouse? Uh, thanks guys. I, first of all, just, I really appreciate you guys like having me on today. I watch your videos every single day. It's a great way to just like wake up and find out what I missed. And I, I really appreciate all the efforts that you guys are putting through and, and just, it's, it's fun. <laughs> it's fun to like, I feel like I already know you guys. Cause I, you're like on my little, you know, you're like, you're with me and my phone everywhere I go. And so it's cool to see you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, in Clubhouse, uh, BitClub Chats is the club. Uh, we also own DSO Chats, and we haven't moved over to start hosting in DSO Chats yet. Um, just, uh, we will, we have almost as many members in DSO Chats, but um, we just, we want to start to socialize it and make sure that everybody knows, and so that there's no sort of like, wait, where'd you go, what'd you do? Um, so we will 
um, switch over eventually. Um, right now, Katie Ann and I host rooms on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Um, Mondays has evolved into Music Mondays, and it's all DSO artists that show up and, and uh, they play two songs and then they talk about, you know, where you can find their music and, you know, why, you know, what, what brought them to do so. And, you know, and then, uh, and then the next one goes and then, and it ends up being a, a really cool musical experience. Some, um, some folks are playing their music off of like SoundCloud or YouTube. Um, we've got a couple of DJs in the house that come and support us. Uh, Jamie Simmons comes and, and plays uh, plays uh, DJ for us and DOZ comes sometimes and plays DJ for us. And so that's really helpful for folks that have music, but uh, maybe don't have like the right, um, you know, set up in their house to be able to play it on Clubhouse. So uh, yes, yeah, so that's Mondays, Wednesdays, we do Ladies on the Mic. And uh, that's a really great experience. Ladies come up first and they share. And after about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, once they've all shared, you know, what's so for them, um, then we open up the stage to anyone who wants to come. And uh, so that's been really popular. Um, we also have a giveaway on Wednesdays. People have been transferring NFTs to BitCloud Chats and then we spin the wheel and, uh, and then we prize them to the women um, that show up and speak and share. So that's been really fun. Um, and then on Fridays, we do Week in Review. And I love when you guys come and help with that because you're so knowledgeable. You know, I'm great at hosting spaces, but I don't know all the, you know, the background politics and technology of, of everything going on. It takes a village. You know, I can create a space, but without people like you guys showing up to say what's so, you know, there's a missing. So um, Fridays are our week in review, and, and that's been very popular. The room is usually grows to about 50 people each week. Um, and then besides that, we do um, uh, pop-up NFT parties um, this week. Geez, you'll have to look at the BitClub Chats post to see. There's a lot. I think um, I think in the post this morning, there was four, uh, but since then, I've received two more um, asks. So, you know, we'll just keep adding them. So if you ever want to know what's going on, go on Clubhouse, go to the BitClub Chats, uh, club and then just look at the calendar and so usually as soon as we schedule something it goes on the calendar yeah that, but we partner awesome. with lots of other groups too like think different nft they run a lot of rooms with us we partner back and forth make sure we don't you know cross over each other at all and support each other yeah that's what i love about what you're doing is that you you're always cognizant of like these other other chats these other clubhouses that are going on and like what i love about you and clubhouse is that you always ask the right questions and you always keep the dialogue going which is really hard in a clubhouse like if you have a clubhouse room with like 20 people in it there's sometimes some awkward science silences but with you you always think of something you ask and get the conversation back back to flowing again thank you i appreciate it i mean i've been a facilitator like in business in my job forever so uh, i love to be able to bring this to do so and and at the other day i got pinged into a room i i wasn't scheduled i wasn't moderating but i got pinged in like 12 times and i came in and it was like a zoo <laughs> and all of a sudden somebody's like michelle's here hurry up reset the room michelle we need your help i'm like i don't even know what the room is they're like we need you to just take over yeah like, like i <laughs> think like, if I think if we wanted to have this show go for like eight hours, I think we'd be fine because you're in here right now. Wait, isn't this an eight-hour show today? It's Not today, that's tomorrow. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, what what I really love is how you've really been able to kind of help these artists market their NFTs. And it seems like every single artist that comes into one of your clubhouse rooms that you schedule with them ends up selling out. And it, it just gets the community behind it. It gets really fun and entertaining just watching these drops and talking to the artists, asking the artists questions about what inspired them, what motivated them to create this. You kind of, you kind of ask them, like, what, what gave them the idea to drop it this way rather than this way? And it helps the community learn while also helping that artist, you know, sell, their, sell his or her NFTs. Yeah, it's a really, it's a partnership because I, I know that the people that are in the audience and that are on stage, they want to know, but the artists don't necessarily know what the buyers want. So because I'm, I'm both, I, I can help to, you know, kind of lead the conversation in a way that just helps to open up the artists so that they feel more comfortable talking about themselves. I don't feel comfortable talking about myself. 
you know, I, I get that. It's not fun to like pitch your own stuff, but when you have somebody that, you know, really wants to understand, it sort of makes it, you know, easier to talk about yourself. So that's the role that I put myself in. Have you had many artists or collectors come into your room who were unaware aware of DSO who you have kind of taught about DSO or those in the room have taught about DSO at the time? Every day. Yeah, every day, multiple times a day. The last two weeks, it's been incredible. This artists are coming in, they're on other platforms and they're like, oh yeah, I heard about you guys or what's the buzz or, uh, you know, last night somebody came in and, and they were like, oh God, I haven't been here in three months. You guys are still here. <laughs> I keep hearing good things about it. I can't believe like the OGs are still here. They were so surprised to see us all and, and it was fun. You know, it's like, yeah, get back on here. You know, we're still here and we're still holding space and welcome back. So, but yeah, we have a lot of new people coming in and, and literally it's the sign up has gotten so fast that people are able to join in the auction. And uh, three nights ago, we had someone who came in, was excited about what we were doing, joined the auction and got an NFT all in the same space. So the process used to be longer and it used to be slower and it, it's all speeding up and it's helping the, you know, the, the onboarding is just, it's less cumbersome. So, yeah. so you're also doing your uh, meetups. Uh, you have a meetup coming up in Tampa, I believe, on, in the beginning of November. Yeah, yeah, November 5th, 6th, and 7th, DSO Beach Meetup is in uh, it's a Tampa Bay. So you fly into Tampa International Airport. And, uh, and the beach is actually called Madeira Beach. And everything will be in within less than two miles from Madeira Beach. And there's a boardwalk called John's Pass. And most of our events are going to be at John's Pass. So it's really fun. We've got, a, we've got a, a lot of people every day. New people are saying, we're coming, we're coming. So that's exciting. Um, we've got folks flying in from overseas and California. And uh, we do need to up our sponsorships so that we can really throw a big, fun party. Um, and uh, But so far, it's, it's really exciting. Um, we're doing, um, it's Friday, November 5th. Saturday, November 6th, and Sunday, November 7th. And Friday, there's a big welcome party, um, Friday night uh, welcome dinner. And then uh, Saturday, we're doing um, a meet and greet, which is actually meet and compete, and it's at an arcade. And so we'll be playing uh, video games for prizes and, uh, and you use the card instead of like quarters. And so all your points are on the card and then we'll be able to see who is the ultimate gamer. So that's gonna be fun. <laughs> And then, um, and then we've got a beach party on the beach. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just, we've, there's a lot of events and, and, uh, and a lot of surprises. And there's a lot, of, the community has been saying, what about us virtually? What about us? And, uh, and so we're lucky people have been showing up and saying like, oh, I want to host my podcast from the event. Or can I run BitCloud chats while you're there being busy, you know, doing all the stuff? Can I run your club for you? And Yes, yes, yes. Anybody want to help? Anybody want to join in? It's for the community and we need everyone's help. Yeah, and everyone's we're like, help. we're literally like two hours from you guys. And that weekend's our birthday weekend, our 40th birthday. And our wives got us a, a surprise trip. We're going to the Caribbean for like that whole weekend. So like, it sucks. We can't be there. We want to be there so bad. But uh, I'm sure you guys are going to do really well. And and I, I like all the meetups we've been to, we've been to two main ones, the one in New York and the one in Miami. And they were, it was just awesome because like everybody kind of knew each other, but didn't know each other. And like, we made so many great connections and I'm sure that's going to happen in Tampa for sure. Yeah, I'm so excited. I mean, just like the, the, the quality of the people that are coming just are like, I've wanted to meet these people for so long and I just can't wait to throw my arms around them and just hug them. <laughs> So yeah, if people want more information, it. they can just go to the BitCloud Chats username. Is that the best way to get it? Yeah, yeah. There's a website and um, there's also a Discord. So if you go to the website, you can keep up to date on all the information. If you go to the Discord, you can ask questions and participate, you know, in the conversations. Um, certainly reach out to me or Katie Ann or William Loren or Kate Colgan for any questions or details or any support you need around anything. Um, you know, there's a couple of people that have Airbnbs. There's a couple of people that are staying in hotels. There's people that have friends and family in the area. So if anyone's got any kind of a, you know, situation or need or anything, just let us know. Cause you know, we're happy to pick people up at the airport or help them find a, you know, place to stay or, or whatever. So. 
Yeah, and like Florida has been like a hub of of DSO lately. I I mean, you got Miami where you have all the Bitcoin people, but also that's where the Clout Fee guys are located. You have uh, Tropics is in that area, I think. So it's it's like it's like uh, a really Tropics central is, area. Tropics is in New York. Oh, sorry, I messed that up. Sorry, Tropics. But yeah, I mean, there's a lot going on in Florida, and I think there will continue to be. Yeah. So yes. um. I guess, is there anything else you want to say or anything you want to talk about before we end our 200th day? It's such a, such a huge day for us, right? <laughs> I, I, I know you have your clubhouse room, so you don't have too much time left. So, Yeah, yeah we have Music Monday um, shortly, and that's super exciting. So yeah, I'll have to go to that. But I just like, guys, 200 days. Congratulations. It's so, it's amazing. The quality of what you guys are programming and bringing to the community is really powerful. And, you know, don't stop. Um, you know, it's, it's important. It's like, you're like a news channel. It's like, How, many days, How many days have you been here, Michelle? Do you know? Oh, I have to look. I don't know. One of you guys might have fast fingers. I think it's like maybe 190, maybe 190 something. Yeah, I'm pretty not, close. I'm not sure. I think I, I think I was like two days after you, Ed. We oh, were wow. in the same clubhouse room, but neither one of us had signed up yet, I think. Really? Wow. That's crazy. You, was, were you in clubhouse rooms before you signed up? Yeah, I, I, we were actually in NFT rooms a lot because we were into NFTs before they came on to uh, DSO. Yeah, I, I remember being in rooms with you before you signed up and then you signed up and then I signed up. I just follow you, <laughs> stalker. <laughs> All right, well, yeah, thanks, thanks again, so much, Michelle. guys. Yeah, thank you so much. Again, these videos are we're posting natively on DSO and they are minted as NFTs. The first person to bid 0.25 DSO gets the video if you care about owning a video of us talking. But you might care because Michelle was on this video. Yeah, maybe. All right, talk Bye. to everybody later. See you, Michelle.